Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Adkisson, and I'm here at the swamp with Benny and Charlotte, two of our North American river otters here at Brookfield Zoo. River otters were once found widely throughout North America, but due to hunting, trapping, habitat degradation, and pollution, their population saw a pretty significant decline through the 18 and 1900s. Here in the state of Illinois, uh, what was once a very common and plentiful species uh, was reduced to fewer than 100 animals by the 1970s. Uh, fortunately though, through conservation programming and restoration efforts, as well as some reintroduction programs, river otters have made a recovery and are now found again throughout uh, the state of Illinois. And that includes here in Cook County, which is something many people may not realize, is that these uh, wonderful animals are actually right here in our own backyard. Our veterinary staff here at the Chicago Zoological Society recently had the opportunity to work with some wildlife biologists from the Forest Preserves of Cook County on a very exciting project, trying to better understand river otters here uh, in Cook County. I became the wildlife biologist in Cook County in 1987, and immediately I was introduced to the veterinary staff at the Brookfield Zoo. We've worked collaboratively over the years on many different wildlife projects, so we're able to reach out to them to help us with um, some of the more technical aspects of, of our work here. Wildlife biologists here in Cook County were recently able to capture a river otter that they've been monitoring for some time and the animal was brought here to Brookfield Zoo's Animal Hospital where our veterinary staff was able to work with the biologist to place a radio transmitter into the animal. The animal was then released back out into the wild and using that radio transmitter biologists will be able to better understand where the animal is going, where its den site is, other animals that it's interacting with, where it's doing its feeding or its foraging, and uh, use all that information to better understand how the population is recovering here in Cook County. For this animal to get to this isolated pond, it had to go through numerous residential areas as well as a commercial area. So we have no idea how they're able to negotiate those types of areas to, to move into our isolated open lands. The otter has a transmitter that's been surgically implanted into its abdomen. There's an antenna that's coiled up inside of that transmitter and it's emitting a signal. One of the biologists from the USDA was using a directional antenna to locate where the animal was currently resting. So through that technology, we'll be able to find where the animal moves and how large the uh, home range is of the animal and hopefully it'll take us to other otters in the area so we get a better understanding of numbers of home ranges and uh, behavior of these animals. This project is just one of many ways that uh, Chicago Zoological Society is working with the Forest Preserves of Cook County to act locally here in the Chicagoland area for the conservation of wildlife and nature. Be sure to stop by the swamp the next time you're here at Brookfield Zoo and see our North American River Otters, Benny and Charlotte. They're a wonderful, wonderful, playful species that are always a joy to watch. They've been one of my favorites since I was a little kid. The swamp tells a beautiful story of conservation efforts to protect our waterways and wetlands here in Illinois as well as throughout the world. So uh, be sure to stop by and see these guys the next time you're here.